So, um, one of the things we want to do now is to download our image. You go to um, support.fortinet.com, then you download the uh, Fortinet image, but you need to have a license uh, before downloading as well. So, then <clears throat> Preparing our environment for um, the Fortinac. So, yeah, we are using VM uh, ESXi and we're using um, a four core, four CPU, <clears throat> and also um, 16 gig RAM, then um, uh, 1, 100 gig gigabyte of hard disk. At least that's the minimum requirement. Then in setting up our um, environment, we've already downloaded the image from support.fortinet.com and um, one of the things we want to do is to you know, create um, the VM on the VMware uh, ESXi. So um, let's um, create, click on create, then let's proceed. Click. Right now. Next, then name it. You can give it any name um, that you want. So we are importing the image uh, that we downloaded earlier at support of Yeah, this is. Um, then, uh, that's the image. Click next. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone here. Okay, yeah, that's what we done. Okay. Next, what else are we waiting to do? Okay, next. So it's left and so here okay. we have two interfaces that we prepared. One is the interface um, zero, I, I, it's interface zero, which is the management uh, yeah, interface that five, is going to be five, watch five. all the all the network. Then the other one is the. Um, second um, interface which you're going to use for uh, registration isolation authentication and all that so select then so we ensure that the second interface is will be disconnected before we start and you know prepare the environment okay let's go um so if you look at the down parts you see that it is loading we we'll just wait for the image to load before we proceed. So it's fully loaded. So um, let's. The next thing is to power it up and you now configure um, the first interface, which will be the management interface uh, for Fortinac and also uh, for us to be able to reach the all of the network so we need to configure our network in such a way that Fortinac will be able to reach all those network uh, with that um, interface so here we are going to um, give the interface an IP address and um, the, um, the default password the default credential is um, admin and the default uh, password um, is I'll put it on the screen so that we can see then uh, let's give it 192 okay
So let's ping the gateway and see whether we can receive response. Okay, yeah. We can receive response, so we are good to go. So we have to put column 8843. That's the port for the Fortinac. Then sign in. Let's just wait for it to load. So, um, the default um, credentials will also be put on the screen. It is a uh, woods and yams. Set. Then <clears throat> we need to download the license, and uh, to do that, we need to copy and paste um, the hardware ID and the MAC address of um, the of the uh, <coughs> VMware host that we're using, and paste it on the support portal. Where we registered uh, the the Fortinac, so you would have registered the Fortinac on the support site, then so that you can be able to download the image. Then after you downloaded the image, you now you know uh, copy and paste the MAC address of uh, the uh, VMware host, so that you can download the um, the key, the license key. Um, from support and also import it to, to uh, 40 NAC. So that's what we are doing currently. So I've downloaded the key, then um, I'll upload it to um, <coughs> to this page now. Okay, yeah, click. Then um, next. So now let's set up <coughs> with the information we have. We give it. Um, user id you can give it any id so um i give it that name uh, okay password i have to create a new password and uh, confirm then you can also do for the roots you can either give the roots a separate uh, <coughs> a separate um, <coughs> password or the same password that, or that is identical to the admin uh, the choice is yours then Next, so next, um, so this should have been done earlier. I'll talk about this in my next video DCP, helpers, fingerprint, and all that. But let's check it and um, let's click on an app. Next. In up next now there's our page so we have to give it an host name can you determine to give it any name let's just define it So the DNS has to be maybe an internal DNS, um, one of your internal DNS, and also maybe public DNS, so that can be able to reach uh, Fortinet can be able to reach internet. Okay. Okay. Um, let's define this then. <sighs> Click on when we're done. Click 
click on so let's log into the Fortnac. Okay. Let's see the inventory um, under network inventory. Then you can set up your containers for um, what you have and, and all that. so in the next video i uh, will do the discovery and all that thank you for watching god bless